Today I'm going to make some pasta with in vodka sauce. And here I have two 28 ounce cans. It's 794 grams each of plum tomatoes and some penne pasta and vodka and heavy cream, onion, garlic, some parmesan, crushed red pepper and oregano. I also use some basil and salt and pepper and olive oil and let's get started. I have my pot heating up. It's over medium high heat. I'm going to add some olive oil and cover the bottom fairly well so it's probably about a fourth of a cup. I'll throw in the onions. Throw in the garlic. That's four cloves of garlic. I used most of that onion. Add a little bit of salt. And I'm going to cook until the onions get pretty soft. Oh, wait. I'm going to add in. The oregano, that's one and a half teaspoons, and red chili flakes, one half teaspoon. Now I'm going to lower the heat just a little bit and cook this until the onions are soft, about five minutes. Ne next, I'm going to add some black pepper. I could have added it before, but I forgot. So there's some black pepper. And here is one cup of vodka. We're going to cook this until the vodka is about half gone. Next you want to add your tomatoes, your two cans of tomatoes. And my tomatoes come in a puree. So I drained one can and not the other. If your tomatoes are in juice, please drain all the juice off. And I'm going to add two teaspoons of salt. And just mix this around. I'm going to put a lid on it. And I'm going to watch this and let it just barely, barely bubble. It is simmered for one hour with the lid on. And I kind of put the lid ajar after 30 minutes. And I've come in here now and, and broken up the tomatoes a bit. And it stopped. There we go. It's starting to bubble again. That's what you want. I'm going to let this bubble for uh, 15 minutes, 30 minutes longer. I have my, all my sauce here in the blender. I let it cool off a bit. And I'm going to blend it up and get it real smooth. My water has come to a boil. I'm going to add some salt. Mm, about a tablespoon of salt. And I'm going to add my penne pasta. Uh, about two-thirds to three-fourths of the package. And I'm going to cook this al dente. It says on the package al dente is 11 minutes, but I'm going to do it for about, I'm thinking, 6 minutes. Next, I'm going to take the, the sauce and put it back into the pot. Just heat this back up just a little bit. Add some fresh basil to it. I'm going to add about three fourths cup of cream. And let this heat up for about 10 minutes. I've let it heat up for about five minutes. I'm going to add the pasta in here. going to add about a half a cup of that parmesan 
Red, yellow, no? I'm going to turn the heat off and just let this kind of absorb. I should have cooked all the pasta. Yeah, the pasta will get a little larger absorbing all that sauce. And it'll be worth it. I have some of the pasta plated up. I'm going to add a piece of bread. A little bit more parmesan on top. A little bit more basil. Some olive oil. I've been tasting this as I go. I have to say this is one of the best things I've ever made. Mmm, that is so good. Wow. So good. Hey, thanks so much for watching.